In the early weeks of quarantine, I went through sort of a mad scientist period where I spent a lot of time working on my most ambitious Connects project ever, this player piano. It combined the rigidity challenges from my skates, the trouble of Connects interacting with other materials from my printing press, and the general complexity from my loom to be a really challenging and satisfying project. And I finished it just in time to play Happy Birthday for my friend Charlie. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Birthday to you, Charlie. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. The first critical part of the machine is the base that holds my keyboard. Greatest two dollars I ever spent. It looks simple, but its key feature is that the structure that actually supports the weight, this part in the middle, rests on legs that go straight to the ground. That way, the keyboard doesn't sink down when pressure is applied. The next important piece of the puzzle is this part, which I am calling a key pusher. It connects a key on the keyboard with a punch card that operates that key. When there is no hole in the punch card, this part gets lifted off the key and the note does not sound. When there is a hole in the punch card, the key does get played. Of course, the key pushers need a structure to hold them. They pivot on this axle in the heart of the structure, and the rubber bands that pull on them are attached to these Y-clip hooks. The top needs to include holes for the buttons, as well as a smooth, flat surface to press the card against. These pieces on the side keep the punch cards heading straight, and these on the top keep them pressed down against the keys. The final piece of the machine is where the rhythm is introduced. This crank system snaps on at the top of the main structure and has these two cranks. When you turn the cranks, the punch card is advanced and the music encoded and it gets played. The gearing is necessary because there are no connects rods long enough to hold both the wheels that move the punch card and a crank. All right, so here's how we put it all together. We've got our base, then we've got this whole key pushing structure. Then we add the keyboard. We need to attach these arms here to keep keep our um, our machine from bending up this way. And then finally, we attach the rhythm section, the crank. And there you have it. That's how the whole thing fits together. Okay, so now we know how the machine works. This is how I make punch cards for it. Today we're gonna make the punch card for Mac the Knife. First, I cut my cereal boxes to size. Then, I draw lines showing where the different notes are located on the machine, as well as regularly spaced lines representing each beat. Then, I mark off which notes get played on which beat. And once I marked them all off, I cut the holes with this X-Acto knife. When I'm done with a card, I tape it into the correct place in the book.
If you were to try to play it now, all the buttons would pop up at this seam. So I had a little paper flap here to keep them pushed out. All right, and now we're done. We've got this nice accordion book. Time to give it a listen. Thanks for watching. I'm planning on programming some more songs at some point, so leave me a comment if you want to make a request. To close, here's another happy birthday clip. <laughs> Happy birthday.